All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Survivor Russia. So, lately, my channel uh, comment section have been uh, floated with all sorts of uh, funky comments about uh, uh, Russia is closing down YouTube, uh, English language being banned, and uh, whatnot. All sorts of weird stuff, basically. So, uh, for this, hopefully, Little short video, I'll give you my take on uh, what is going on. One funny thing is that the guys are writing in the comments on a channel which is obviously running and they can write comments, I can reply and so on. And uh, they are claiming that, that, uh, that Russia has closed down YouTube. Uh, and my take on all this is that YouTube as a platform is too important for both Russia and the West to, to close it down. They will both lose uh, uh, a tool for information or disinformation or propaganda, whatever you want to call it, right? So I don't think really anybody is interested in it. But what is happening is that uh, now my channel is being completely demonetized, <laughs> not monetized, it's being completely demonetized from the, between 21st of August and 26th of August, all uh, AdSense accounts, that is the monetized part of a YouTube channel, it will be, uh, uh, what is it, they have been, uh, it will be disabled. It's not being deleted, but it's being disabled. So that means that YouTube is going to send me, or Google is going to send me whatever is on the account, and that's it. So, from now on, my channel is, of course, uh, completely in the hands of support of you guys, of my own uh, promotions and so on. So what's going on between Russian Federation and uh, the Western Bloc there, in my opinion, is pretty crazy because both parties seem to, uh, to, to, to try to limit uh, some kinds of information uh, to their populations, right? I mean, lots of uh, Russian media, not only RT and so on, has been closed down in the EU. I'm, I'm pretty sure in the US as well. The same have been going on here in Russia, uh, like, you know, like a response and blah, blah, blah. But there's no party, in my opinion, which is uh, really better than the other in this sense here, because I don't understand the point of, uh, of, of uh, trying to block information from, from, from people. Yeah, of course I understand, but it doesn't help anything. It doesn't work. It, uh, I mean, if people want information, they're going to find it anyway, right? Not even a week ago, the European Union sent a very threatening letter to uh, Twitter X, Elon Musk, just before his interview, before his interview with the former president and, uh, and the presidential candidate of the United States, Donald Trump, right? I mean, what, what's going on with that? I mean, you could accuse Russia of being authoritarian and this and this and that. So, yeah, that should kind of be normal, right? <laughs> but that, uh, from so-called democracies, they should not be doing some, something like that, in my opinion. But they're doing it anyway. The theory that English language should be banned in Russia now is, 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 is this is completely hilarious. I mean, I'm actually going to start to teach uh, English instead of business of Russia in local school. Uh, English is... Uh, is, uh, is not banned in Russia whatsoever. There's actually a, a Russian saying, or what you can say, or that, that uh, Russia always studies its enemies' languages. During the Napoleon War, war it was, uh, they studied French. First, Second World War, it was German. Now it's English, but then, of course, now it's not English because of that. But English is not banned here. This, this is a completely outrageous claim. But some people think that the Russian Federation is a different version than uh, just a version 2.0 of the Soviet Union, which is, is absolutely not, of course. And uh, the West is not lacking in anything compared to, to Russia when it comes to censorship and uh, propaganda. That is for dang sure. Both parties are very well, well versed in, the, in those things. But one problem I have here in Russia uh, with YouTube is that, for example, on Google Chrome, I cannot play any videos. I can uh, refresh the comment section, I can check my analytics, I can refresh the, the front page and uh, all that good stuff. But videos, they will not play. In Firefox and uh, Russian Yandex browser and so on, no problem. Sometimes it seems, but the connection is also not so good here, but sometimes it seems here that the 
that the connection has been throttled in some kind of a way, you know, like the uh, the buffer, the video is buffering, 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 and then it goes back a little bit and it's hard to play, but here we never had really that great a connection. On mobile device, my phone and uh, the tablet and so on, I have no problems at all. Uh, and I think that plays via, via Google Chrome, actually, I don't know. But p perhaps there is some kind of conflict between the uh, Russian Federation and Google. And, you know, the, the, there are some regulations about data storage and this and that, that they have had some battles with. Maybe that is one of the reasons that the Chrome specifically is not working, but Firefox and other browsers are. But I can say one thing for sure is that, that uh, YouTube have not been banned. I've not seen any talks anywhere from Russian official sources that, uh, that YouTube should be banned. And I think also that it's too uh, valuable source, as I said, for both parties. Out at the Wild Siberia's uh, place, he says he cannot play any YouTube videos at all. It's just loading, loading, loading. And uh, but that's also far away from here. So it's more like more than 3,000 kilometers away. But I, I just don't see why it should be different in one region than to another, and so and so. Moscow also seems to be working fine, and. I don't know. We'll see what's gonna happen, guys. So anyway, guys, that is my little update to you on the, what the hell is going on here with the YouTube and the English language and so on. So guys, please uh, check the links in the description and uh, <laughs> please consider supporting the channel. And until next time, get out of the train, get it done, do something awesome. So uh, see you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much for your time.